Hey, so I figured it's finally time for me to make this video. I've been asked a handful of times about it, and that was enough for me. And I need to redo it anyway because some things have changed. So today I will be showing you how I did my rear seat delete. Now I'm only going to show some of it because obviously I'm not redoing the whole thing. I'm just redoing the bottom tray. So I'll have the bottom tray out. I'll take all the measurements and I will show you what I did. And I have some pictures to put in here to show the bracketing that I made to secure this thing. Now it's not secured perfect yet. I still have one little thing I need to do, but that'll come in the way future when I finally decide and figure out how I'm going to do it. So let me go ahead and pull my car out and then we'll start dissecting this. So you can just hang on. So here we are, here is the terrible of uh, me just narrating and kind of putting in perspective things that happened. I'm not sure what happened, I don't know. Um, it was recorded, the clips were recorded as video footage, they were recorded like I always do. And then in the process of bringing them and uploading them, they got turned into time lapse. I don't know, I can't undo it, it's very frustrating because they're pretty good clips. So. Oh, uh, you are currently sitting on my workbench right now as I'm gonna walk you through some things. Uh, so there were a couple clips, I'm trying to remember all of them. I went back and watched them, but you know how it is. So the first of the clips that got all jacked up was me talking about securing, securing the material to your, whatever you're using. So if you're using plywood, uh, there was a point that I used spray adhesive, which I'll show you my spray adhesives I used. And then I actually, in this video, used a staple gun, I just used Regular old staple gun with the smaller staples. I think they're three eighths or half inch. Um, the smaller work beautifully to hold the fabric down, keep it nice and tight, no issues. Um, so for the spray adhesives that I use typically, I've used this before. It's got a bottle in it. It works. It works good on smaller applications, but when you get to real big stuff like headliners or door cards or you know just larger things, I don't think this stuff works as well. It is very tacky. Um, I've just, I've never haven't had the best of luck with it. I have pretty much always used Super 77. This is your 3M spray adhesive. This stuff you can get this anywhere. Lowe's, um, Home Depot. I think you can actually get Dollar General. You can get it anywhere. Uh, this stuff is very good. And then you have 90 Tack, which this is the end all be all for spray adhesives. Um, so like I use this on the headliner for the Prelude. I use it for the headliner. It's still holding. It's held for years. It is very, very tacky, so do not get it on your fingers. Be careful. Um, but when securing to wood, spray adhesive does work, but it, it obviously wood does begin to peel and can collect moisture. And it, over the years of doing this, I've had better luck securing fabric to wood with a staple gun versus using spray adhesives. It's just me, personal preference. Spray adhesive works for you. By all means, continue using it. And that's, again, only for using wood, which I typically use wood for receipt deletes just because it's easy and malleable and it's usually what I have laying around. Um, yeah, it, it just works. Uh, use what you want, do what you want. If you're using aluminum, um, obviously a staple gun's not gonna work. It's pretty easy. Uh, if you're using you know, uh, anything like carbon or if you're using ABS plastic, I would love to redo mine on ABS plastic, but plywood's what I got. Plywood works, it's effective, it did the job right. So that's what we used. Now, if I am applying uh, redoing cloth or redoing like door cards, headliners, if I'm redoing interior panel pieces or anything of that amount that's the plastic, again, a spray adhesive works fantastic for that. Don't use a staple gun. Use spray adhesive because staple gun can break the plastics, it can tear the fabric, it works. Just do to your own risk and be aware of what you're using and just go off of that. Um, so, next clip. Uh, the next clip I messed up was kind of me getting the measurements and showing you how I did the rear deck panel um, while I was in the car. So you're right here in the picture. Here's the, here. so over here, over here I think is better. So right here, you see the picture. So that is, if you take your rear seats out of your prelude, you'll see a black plate of the plastic piece where the rear seat has a little metal loop that clicks down. So when you take your rear seats off, you typically have to pull these pins out and lift the rear seat. That's the metal plate right there. Sorry, my camera, there we go. That's the metal plate. Unbolt that, take it right out. And there's two, I think they're 17 mil or 19 mil. I know the bolts that I'm using currently, the heads are 19 mil, but I think the actual, I think it's usually like a 17. You'll see. Um, 
that's what I use. That's the spots I use to secure the rear wooden deck down. Two bolts on each side work flawlessly. Um, I just got some fancier looking, shinier bolts, some washers on them, drilled some holes through plywood, called it a day. And it worked fantastic. I've debated on getting dress up bolts, um, but dress up bolts that are that large are kind of expensive. So I've kind of just been playing with that idea in my head. Um, and then for the, the upper part, the folding part, um, the top of it's not secured the best. It, it will it will actually fold down. Right now my amp is what's kind of holding it still. Uh, so the way that I use that is if you take your folding rear seat out, the top part, unbolt it, pull it out, there's gonna be two metal brackets. They look like this. Take those brackets, flip them around, put a 10 mil bolt through and weld like this. That's how I did it. So my rear seat delete piece, the backing panel, is literally secured almost the exact same way that your rear seats are. I can fold it down, which I would like to be able to do that in due time, but you know. So the top of it has something to secure. That's what I was talking about when I mentioned that I need to kind of redo some stuff still. Because to secure that, you have to, I don't want to put wood screws through in the plastic, jack it all up, mess it all up. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's how I did those pieces. And then here is a picture of it all unfinished in raw wood. There you go. Just like that. Um, and then the measurements were also in one of the videos got messed up. So I'm going to put the measurements right here. These are your measurements. These are your, your, the rear deck pieces, or the rear deck piece, and then the lower deck, or the seat piece. Those are your measurements. Um, and that's everything. That's everything they all messed up. Again, I'm not sure what happened. It's very frustrating. But this is kind of... Can you turn back on? This is the only way for me to have been able to get the information to you and not giving you some terrible video. So we're going to go ahead and continue on with the regular footage. It's going to cut in weird because I was unaware of the messed up footage at the time of recording. So let me just, we'll go ahead and get back to it next. There it is. Looks way better now. Left the old fabric so it still has that black. And I just stapled it. Can I see the staples all along here? Right there. Just stapled the whole thing. Yeah. Way better than spray adhesive. Spray adhesive is annoying to work with. Um, for wondering, I just use short staples. Like for these kind of staple guns, there's two different sizes. There's a bunch of sizes. But I just use the standard short ones. It does the job. So now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do the flat. I think I'm just gonna maybe cut it. Should I just cut this back? I don't know. Let me figure this out. Alright. So we cut it on the side so I can just fold the whole flap up right now to work with it. I'm just gonna swing these little flappies over and secure them. And then yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So it'll be like over here somewhere and then I'll click it but obviously not like this because this is the angle you want you want it this way because this way is a kill shot like that fold actually I folded the tab up under there perfect perfect now I gotta get the velcro strips secured to this and all right and we'll see how this looks so don't forget to poke your holes for your bolts wherever there's one there one there. What? Where's the other one? Yeah, I'm done. There. And there. Okay. All right, we're in car. And it's secured down. Good. Now the fun part comes of figuring out how I'm going to do this Velcro thing. Well, the camera's going to be in a weird spot. Sorry. I bought these at uh, Michael's. I this part. See? Peel it, and then just kind of stick it on there. It says the wait like 10 to 15 minutes, so that's what we're gonna do. It's been, I'll get enough time. So we'll just secure this, kind of like get it so nice and tucked there, all the way across. Eh, looks way better now. Nice and flat, yeah. Yeah, I would call this a win. I'll take this. And with that, that's the receipt deleted. Uh, if you have any questions, please hit me up. And if you could like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be amazing. Because then that helps me, obviously. And then the more that helps me, the more that I can do more content and get more things rolling. So uh, I appreciate you guys very much. And I'm going to end it there. So go out, enjoy the day, enjoy the weather, 
and drive your car. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.